It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science game show here in the Prince Georgia Schools, where we test science IQs. Test your own and play along with us today. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Charles Carroll Elementary School, would you please say hello to Charles Bailey, Caitlin Mendoza, and Presley Ngu. And from Gwynn Park Middle School, here they are, Diani Pollan, Serenity Smith, and Hope Bolding. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth five and 10 points, tougher ones 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both our teams start out at 50 points apiece, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, one of these two talented, good-looking teams will come back to play Martin Luther King for the chance to become the third of our four semifinalists in this year's middle school competition. Let's make sure everything works properly. Let's go to the red team, and Caitlin, would you try that buzzer? It looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Presley and to Charles. And Serenity, give it a push over there. Again, looks like the green team is in good working order. Good luck to you, to Hope and to Diani. And congratulations on being here, representing your schools, your wonderful ambassadors. Let's just have a great game and may the better team win. We go alphabetically C before G, so Caitlin and Charles Carroll, let's play the bowl. Can I get Zoo Parade for 10, please? Zoo Parade for 10 points. We start out with a visual question. Everybody look at the monitor in the studio, please. This is a travel poster trying to get you to come to New Zealand, and it says, New Zealand, walk with the moa in the land of giants. There's only one problem with that poster, because moas are what? Gwynn Park. Extinct. They're long gone, absolutely. Moas are extinct. Go again, green. Um, can you have green things for five, please? Green things for five points teams at a recent county fair. This Halloween gourd that weighed over 2,600 pounds won the top prize. Gwynn Park. Pumpkin. The giant pumpkin, absolutely right. Good, green. Um, Body systems for five, please. Body systems for five points. Teams, if there's about to be a boxing match and the boxers don't wear gloves, these bony projections on their hands, are they're set to go with bare what, Knuckles. Charles Carroll? Knuckles. Knuckles, that's right, a knuckle sandwich. Okay, go, red. Can I get, let's get physical for 10, please. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, on the moon known as Europa, there are cracks all over it because of tectonic movements, and it's because of shifting seawater beneath the surface, and not this liquid rock that is causing that movement, Caitlin. Magma. Magma, yes ma'am, good, red. Can I get Dayline Science for 10, please? Dayline Science for 10 points. Teams, these iconic American mammals that were the second animals to appear on coinage after eagles are often associated with home on the range. Caitlin. Bison. Bison or buffalo. Yes, ma'am. Good. Science potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, recently in the South, people were all talking about Petals the Bear. Petals the Bear was not riding a bicycle, but no, he was getting around bipedally, which meant he was getting around how? Charles Carroll. What you got? 
Um, pass it to Charles. Charles? What? What? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know, unicycle? Oh, no, not a unicycle. Pedals the bear was getting around bipedally. He was not riding a bicycle. Why did we say that he, why were they calling him Pedals? Um, he was walking on his two hind feet. Bipedal, two feet. Go uh, green, please. Um, let's get physical for five, please. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, Tony Stark's alter ego is this superhero who, yes, yeah, Charles Carroll. Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah, I was about to say chemically it would be F.E. Man for Iron Man, his chemical symbol. Nicely done. 80 for Carol. 65 Gwyn Park, advantage red. Um, body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you lose a baby tooth, all you've got in your hand is an enamel crown because what part of the tooth has already disintegrated? <laughs> Charles Carroll. The root. The root. The root. Absolutely right. That's why the tooth fell out in the first place. It's not like having a tooth pulled with the root coming out. Thank you, Charles. Good answer. Go red. Green things for 10, please. Green things. 10 points. Teams, there is a saying that you can't see the forest for the what? Gwen Park. Trees. Trees. Yes, ma'am. Nicely done. Go, Serenity. Um, science potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, there is a bumper sticker you might have seen that says, millions infected, so few detected. It's talking about this disease spread by the bite of a tick. Charles Carroll. Lyme disease. Lyme disease. That's it. Caitlin, go. Um, Zuprate for 15, please. Zuprate for 15 points. Teams, there is a protein called Reslin that lets these insects jump 100 times higher than their own height. Gwyn Park. Grasshopper. Grasshoppers. It's not a grasshopper. Good try. Reslin protein lets these insects jump 100 times their own height. Jumping spider. Jumping spider. No, if you have dogs, fleas, fleas. Go again, red. Um, Zuparate for five, please. Zuparate for five points. Teams, at the beginning of something, people sometimes say, right from the get-go. But some people think they're talking about this insurance company lizard. Get Gwyn Park? Gecko. Yeah, right from the gecko. That's what they think people were saying. All right, good one. Green, go, um, Serenity. Dateline Science for five, please. Dateline Science for five teams. President Obama has recommitted this country to the exploration of this nearby planet. Gwyn Park. Um, Venus. Not Venus. Mars. Nope, Charles Carroll. Mars. Mars is right. Yes, green, uh, red, please. Body systems for 15, please. Body systems, 15 points. Teams, one of the symptoms of having the Zika virus is something called conjunctivitis, which is an infection in which of your sense organs? Gwyn Park? Nose. Not your nose, no. Conjunctivitis is a condition, condition that afflicts what sense organ? Nose? No, that's what they said. Correct answer was the eye. The conjunctiva is a layer in the eye. All right, what a good first round. That buzzer says that first round is over. Let's check that score. Close game. Charles Carroll, 110. Gwyn Park, 80. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. Here we are in our 31st year of Science Bowl competition, and we continue to get students that are better and better and better. We couldn't be prouder of the six that are here in our studio today. Let's introduce them to you. Let's go first to Charles Carroll. And Caitlin, nice to see you back again. You played in elementary school, and now you're yeah. back in, in middle school. What do you like about Science Bowl? Well, I like everything about Science Bowl. To me, science is just interesting. I don't know a topic that I would rather choose over the other. Wow, and you know an awful lot about science because you're a great student and you're always picking up information. Let's find out about Charles Carroll. First of all, who is your principal? Our principal is Mr. Curry. Wonderful, and the sponsor of your team? Ms. Chaudhry. And Ms. Chaudhry is new to the Science Bowl and she's already been here a couple of times and she has, she has been a judge here and we appreciate everything, Marja, that you have done thus far. Thank you for being part of our Science Bowl family here. And did you have any alternates on your team, Caitlin? Yes, we have Yazi that's yes. um, back watching us right now. Good, and we'll bring Yazi out and uh, Marja in just a few moments here. Tell me something great about Charles Carroll, something you like to brag about. 
Well, we like to brag about is that we're a Title I school, and we and we, and I just basically love our school because we have great teachers and great education. Yeah. We're a pretty big school. We most definitely are a big school. Yeah. And and you're big not just in size but in talent, as you guys are proving here today. What a nice commercial! Thank you for that nice shout out to the teachers too. And you've got unmatching uh, sweatshirts there. The Charles Carroll. What's your uh, mascot? Um, Cougars. Cougars. The Cougars, all right. You guys are looking good over there. Caitlin, before I leave you, what do you want to do someday? Um, politics, right? Yeah. yeah, how'd you get interested in politics? Um, I was interested in it ever since I was a little girl. When I was a little girl, I've always wanted to be um, interested in politics because I've always wanted to help people yeah. and help out the country. And that's a way to do it. Uh, despite current problems with partisanship here, politics can do good things. And I know you want to go to Harvard someday, so you're you're, you're making all the right plans. Nice to have you back with us. Presley, it's nice to have you here for the first time. And you do everything. You're a singer, you're a dancer, you're an athlete, you were a model. How'd you find time for us today here? <laughs> well, I like science. When my teachers um, t um, talk about science in class, I'm always like fascinated about getting knowing, um, knowing new things every day, like the science bowl. Why I came here today was because I love discovering about new things that I miss on the news. So yeah. discovering, oh, this is a way for me to learn more about my physical environment. That's wonderfully said. And you know, every day, try to learn something different and try to always be involved as best you can. And you're doing all the right stuff. What do you want to do professionally someday? Uh, I want to uh, I want to become a lawyer, but for sports, I want to become a professional soccer player. Wonderful. Yeah, you told me you like to argue and you like to win your arguments and you try to con con uh, convince people about your side. So yeah, debating and lawyering sounds like a good choice. Charles, nice to have you here. You come up with a couple good answers. How do you know so much about science? Because you do. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What's your secret? I'm learning at school. Yeah, that's, that's your secret. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, and. Uh, you wanted to give a shout out to a favorite science teacher. Um, Mr. Skunji, he was my sixth grade science Wonderful. teacher. Boy, that means everything to a teacher to hear a student give that kind of uh, thank you. Uh, you're still thinking about a future career, but you've got a school picked out, don't you? Where do you yeah. want to go? Maryland University. Yeah, right down the street here. Yeah, mm -hmm. good place. Why go far from home when you got one of the best right here? Nice to have you on the team. Gwen Park, nice to have you guys here. Serenity, nice to have you back again. You were in Brandywine Elementary when yeah. you were here before, and now you're here at Gwen Park Middle School. What do you like about this show? Um, this show is it's interesting and I like learning new things. Yeah, and you know, we're teaching you things and hopefully it goes the other direction too. You know, you're sharing some of the knowledge that you have and you're doing such a great job here. A great captain. Tell me about Gwyn Park. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Moore. Miss Moore, that's right. And I remember we had one open spot and she grabbed it right away. So I'm glad you guys got to play this year. Who's your sponsor? Our sponsor is Miss Reddick. And Miss Reddick is out there, and she too, thank you very much for all that you've done to get these young people here uh, on relatively short notice here. And uh, any alternates on your team? Yes, Victoriana none. We'll, and we'll bring uh, Victoriana out in just a moment. Did you, were there two, did you say? No, there's just, just one. Just, just one. And brag about Gwen Park, best thing. Uh, the best thing about Gwen Park is that we have great teachers, and there's never any point of time where you can where you can say that we have nothing to do, and we're also great by choice. Wow! So you said all the right things there, the great teachers, and uh, you know, if you always have something to do, if there's always an agenda, a sense of urgency, then you have to go along because these teachers have your best interest at heart. Thank you for that shout out there. What do you want to do someday, Serenity? Well, I have two choices. I either want to be a pediatric nurse or a teacher, a math teacher. A math teacher, because I know math is a favorite subject of yours, right? Yes. And did you have a favorite math teacher? Yes, Miss um, Miss Cook. Wonderful, and hope Miss Cook is listening out there. Hope, nice to have you with us today. Hi. And uh, you're such a well-mannered young lady. You were thanking the judges for their service here because they're over in the shadows, oh. and you're just a, a very poised young lady. What do you hope to do someday? I would like to be a forensic anthropologist. Yeah, we were talking about the NCIS series yeah. and all. And was that sort of an, uh, a motivation for you? Yeah, definitely. It's like one of my favorite shows. And I just like really like, like it's really interesting to me. Yeah, so kind of looking at the bones and trying to figure out the crime that yeah. took place way back then. It's solving, we all love to solve puzzles. It's like this. We like to play yeah. game shows. We're trying to figure that out. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I like to watch TV, I like to eat, I mean, you I like, like to, to read, yeah. yeah. In fact, the other team, we didn't talk about that with Charles Carroll, we have a couple of girls over there, Charles, you may be part of this too, they just love to eat candy, that's one of their favorite <laughs> things to do, <laughs> like to eat, yay, 
that, that's part of the human condition. Nice to have you here. Diane, nice to have you with us today. Why did you want to be on this show? Um, I want to learn more about science because, I mean, there's just never enough that you can get from a science class. You yeah, know? yeah. It's like going on the internet. You can never finish surfing. Yeah. There's always more to discover out there. And sometimes it seems like we know everything about science, but really we're just kind of getting started. We're just kind of mm -hmm. scratching the surface, you know. Uh, in your lifetime, you're going to see uh, self-drive cars and hopefully a cure for cancer mm -hmm. and uh, going to Mars like you fly to New York now. You know, it's going to be a, a different world out there. Um, what do you want to do someday? Um, I really put a lot of thought into it, but it just seems like there's so much that I like and I want to make sure that I'm going to choose a job that I like because it's something that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Quinn, that is very wise and very mature because sometimes people get into things for the money mm -hmm. and then they realize I hate it. You know, and it, you can't get up every day and go to something you hate. You're just going to, uh, you're not going to be very happy. All right. We wish you luck in that choice. Let's get back to our game. 80 for Gwynn Park, 110 Charles Carroll. All the high valued points out there waiting. Red team, last correct answer. Caitlin, let's go. Green things 15. I got green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, what term that is a synonym for trash? describes the dead leaves on the floor of the forest. Serenity. Um, uh, garbage. Not garbage, good try. Which synonym for trash describes the dead leaves that are found on the forest floor? Litter. Litter, it's called leaf litter, absolutely right. Again, Charles, good assist there, go red. Science potpourri for five, please. Science potpourri for five points. Teams, when you buy these in the store in cartons, the reason they are vertical instead of horizontal is because that's how the birds sit on them. Eggs. Quinn Park. Eggs, that's right, yeah. You can press on an egg and you can't crush it, but if you do it from the side, game over. Okay, green. Um, let's get physical for 15, please. Physical for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The cathode and the anode on a battery are the positive and negative what? Charges. Gwyn Park. Charges. Not charges, no. The cathode and the anode on the battery are the positive and the negative what? What are their terms? What do we call those? Uh, positive, positive Charles? No, um, terminals, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Uh, you were banding about poles, and uh, there were uh, plausible answers, but terminals is what we wanted. No points, go again, serenity. Um, Dateline Science for 15, please. Dateline Science for 15. Teams, the Walter Reed Medical Center here in Washington is named for the man who went down to the Panama Canal and came up with a vaccine with colleagues to fight this fever with the colored? Yellow. Yellow, that's what I want, the yellow fever. Good, serenity. Um, Go. Green things for 20, please. Green things for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. When plants, leguminous plants, can fix atmospheric nitrogen with their roots, it helps them grow better because they are literally making their own what? Making Charles them. Carroll. They're making their own, um, their nitrogen fixing? No, if you, if you fix atmospheric nitrogen with your roots, which leguminous plants like peanuts can do, the plant is actually helping itself grow better by making its own what? Um, nutrients? More specifically. Um, like uh, food? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. They're making their own because a lot of fertilizers have nitrates in. That was a tough question. Good attempts. Go green. Um, 25 like points down. Okay. Zoo Parade for 20, please. Zoo Parade for 20 points, almost a tie if you can get this one. Here's your question, teams. Wood frogs have in their blood glycogen and glycerol, which are cryoprotectants, which means it keeps the cytoplasm in their cells from doing this. Freezing. It, freezing, absolutely right. Cryo was the key prefix there. Well done. We got a game. 125 to 120, advantage green, go. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the word catabolic means to lose strength or to lose minerals. The opposite of catabolic is often associated with the word steroids because it means building up muscle or adding something. The opposite of catabolic is this. Metabolic. Not metabolic, good try. The opposite of catabolic is a word we often associate with the word steroids because it is adding to instead of subtracting from. 
Hyperbolic? Good try. Anabolic. Anabolic steroids. Nicely done. Still, I can't give those points away. Still almost a dead heat. Go green. Um, let's get physical for 20, please. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, a ship does not sink in water because the upward flotation force equals the weight of the water that is being displaced. This was all devised by this famous Greek who jumped into a bathtub. Who was he? Um, Gwyn Park. It's... His last name starts with an L. It's Lee. Oh, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. Lee. Um, Leah. Uh, I, I think you're going down it. the wrong path. It's still a good idea. Who was the famous Greek who took a famous bath? He jumped to the bathtub and he came up with this this explanation for why ships float. He was Archimedes. Archimedes. Try again, please. Green. Um, science potpourri for 20, please. Potpourri for 20 points. All right, teams. Relatively tough question. Listen to all the things that I say. If you've ever read Dr. Seuss, you know that you can mix together cornstarch and water to make oobleck. Oobleck is kind of a, a gooey substance that will vibrate on an amp. It's not a solid. It's not a liquid. It is a non-Newtonian F. What does the F stand for? F stand for? Not a solid, not a liquid, but a non-Newtonian what? Yes, Carol. What do you have? Gwyn Park, what do you have? Fluid. That's what I want to hear. It's a non-Newtonian fluid. Good. Green, go. Um, Dayline science for 20, please. Dayline science for 20 points. Teams, if you're investigating your family's ancestry, you might go to the company called 23andMe. It is called 23andMe for a very good reason. What does the number 23 represent if you are investigating your family's history? It is the number of human chromosomes that we have. Try again, please, green. Um, green things for 25, please. Green things for 25 points. Teams, oftentimes, plants have problems with the amount of water they take in because these gas exchanging pores on the underside of the leaves either admit too much water vapor or let too much out. What do we call those pores, Serenity? Spores? Not spores. Good try. What are those tiny gas exchanging pores on the underside of a leaf? They're called stomata. Stomata. Try again, green. Um, Zuparay for 25, please. Zuparay, 25. Big one in that category. Teams, listen carefully. Animals like bears that hibernate have a reduced amount of respiration while they are sleeping. Also, their heart rate drops. And this M initial process also declines. M initial it describes how you burn up that food while you are sleeping. Metabolism? Part. Metabolism? That's it. Metabolism is. Go. Green. Um, body systems for 25, please. Body systems, 25 points. Teams, to go to school here in Prince George's County, you need certain immunizations. The MMR. The R stands for rubella. What are the two M diseases that you need to be protected against? Measles and mumps. Got them. Good. Go. Sorry. Um, let's get physical for 25, please. Let's get physical 25 points. Teams, carbon dioxide and methane are two of the best known greenhouse gases. Another one produced by mosses and lichens is N2O, which is sometimes called laughing gas, but chemically its name is N2O is? Nitrogen dioxide. No, good try. N2O, its chemical name is what? Oftentimes known as laughing gas. Uh, Pass it to Presley. Presley. Nitrogen peroxide? No, it's nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. Two questions left. Gwyn Park. Um, science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, if you are doing a science experiment, if you're doing one for a science fair, you need to manipulate these changeable V initial. Gwyn variables. Park. The variables is right. And lastly, dateline for 25 points. It is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. You will recognize Michael Phelps, the ace swimmer from the Rio Olympics. And look at those purple welts all over his shoulder. Michael Phelps had something done called cupping, where they put cups and suction on his skin, pulled it up, and broke what tiny blood vessels underneath, Serenity? Capillaries. Capillaries. And that is it. Our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap-up. Don't you go away. 
Welcome back to Science Bowl. What a game, a come from behind victory for a team that really didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this. And the other team, one of the first appearances in many, many years. So two outstanding teams with the six, count them, eight wonderful players here. Our final tally today is Charles Carroll, 125, Gwyn Park, 240. Gwyn Park, congratulations. Let's see some smiles over there. Hope and Serenity and Diani. Diani, that's the first time I've seen you smile all day here. And back there, Victoriana, way Victoriana, the wonderful, and she's excited for everybody. Miss, uh, uh, Miss Reddick, thank you so much for all you have done. And the principal of Gwyn Park Middle School is here. Miss Daniel Moore, Daniel, thank you for taking this opportunity. It's worked out wonderfully. Let me see some big smiles over here. No tears, Presley and Caitlin and Charles. You did a super job. Charles is pretending to cry over there. Miss Chaudhry, thank you so much for doing it. It is you that made this happen, and we can't thank you enough. And uh, Yazi, did they do good today? Yeah, they did. All right, let's give them a nice hand, everybody. Good job. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.